Hey guys, today I want to talk a little karate history with you. Do you know where karate got its name? Karate means empty hand, but long before it's called karate, it was simply called te, or even uh, 2D for Te for hand, or a generic name for Okinawan martial arts, or 2D for China hand, or Chinese hand, referring to where karate come from. Karate has a long history, but when did it get named karate? Karate got its name uh, long before we traditionally think of it. Matter of fact, it's Chomo Hanashiro, the famous karate master, who's a student of Anko Otosu, who first was the person who called karate, karate, meaning empty hand, and used the kanji. Chemo Hanoshiro Sensei was the first person to call karate empty hand, no longer China hand. In 1905, we have uh, written records of him using that terminology as early as back then. But it wouldn't be till a uh, long time later when the Okinawa masters get together. It was October 25th, 1936. It was a gathering of Okinawa masters, and some of the masters there were Chomo Hanoshiro, uh, Chotoku Kayan, Chojin Miyagi, to name a few, for this meeting of the masters, and they officially adopted the name Karate. And the Japanese were against anything that had a Chinese influence to it. So they decided to change the name to Karate, to make it more uh, open to the Japanese. And the Japanese would be more acceptive of that name. So Karate, which originally meant China hand, or could also be pronounced 2D, got changed to Karate, changing the first kanji to empty, and te stayed the same, hand, empty hand, karate. And later on, uh, even further transition to karate do. Karate do means way of the empty hand. See, a long time ago, karate was called karate jitsu. Uh, and it, that meant it was a strictly a self-defense fighting art. But along came masters like Kijin Funakoshi, Kiwomobuni, uh, and uh, Ozuka from Wadaru, and Miyagi from Gojiru. And to be accepted as a Japanese Budo, a martial way, uh, by the Dai Nippon Butokugai, they had to change the name further to develop their curriculum. And they called it Karate Do, Way of the Empty Hand. So Karate Jitsu was, Jitsu was off and became Karate Do. No longer was the art of Karate, but the way of Karate. And in that way, is not just the physical aspect, but the mental, emotional aspect, but developing the whole person. That's the goal of Karate Do, Way of the Empty Hand. I look forward to seeing you in the dojo.